GCE titration question. Remember to check the video on salt analysis. That's qualitative analysis here. We're handling quantitative. We'll go through the questions uh, that we are going to be expecting and how to tackle it. The best way to provide the correct answer here is the type of question you will see. Remember, you are not going to do titration because it's alternative, like you can do the real practical, but answer questions that follows it. But they will provide those basic information. Actually, what you get from titration is endpoint, and uh, you have seen the table from where you can determine your endpoint. So this is these are the questions. I will handle two likely questions and then wait for you on the live stream depending on your comments before the exam for us to discuss finally as you enjoy the class don't forget to subscribe and share with others thanks for having you then expand us by sharing and give us your comments give this video a thumbs up i believe it's going to be very helpful at the end of the day if you listen well okay over here i'll be handling these questions so they say E is prepared by dissolving 33.60 gram of a mixture of ion 2 sulfate pentahydrate, no heptahydrate, sorry, and sodium chloride to make 1.0 dm cube of solution. F was 0.02 mole per dm cube KMnO4. Then 25 cm cube of E was pipetted into a conical flask. Acidify with 20.0 cm cube of dilute HSO4 and titrate it with F. The results are recorded in the table below. So they have given you table. Your job is to copy and complete. Question A, I now said copy and complete the table. Calculate the average volume of, a, of F used. They give us the question of the reaction. This type is redox titration. So I'll do one redox and do one acid-based titration like I've shown you. Now, I will fill the table here, and then I'll go to my notes where I will solve the rest of the question that follows it with detailed explanation. Okay, looking at what is here is final reading. Uh -huh. They gave us values. So we are to fill here, here, here. And uh, remember to follow the rules even though they omitted, they say buret reading, they say cm cube, so it has covered, since cm cube is here, it has covered every unit here, but to stay on safer side, you can still put cm cube. But that's not filling the table. So this is fine now, this is initial. So how do you now get, and this is the volume of F used. So to get what should be here, we need to minus exactly what we just need to say uh, of course 33.10 minus 23.50 whatever it gives us is the answer of course so we have that to find what should be here mathematically Simply, that's 3.10 minus 23.50. Maybe we have 33.10.1 minus 23. Shockingly, I've forgotten. Minus 23.50, I guess. This is giving us... 9.60 so we go back 9.60 so i was correct remember to write this zero don't just write 9.6 you will lose mark keep it in two decimal places and then three significant figures possibly when you want to get your concentration you follow the same pattern the idea here is that for you to get this Volume of A use, you have to minus final buret reading from the initial, which is 9.6. So now this is very simple. Our initial was 7.15, I mean 7.50. The final here was 30. 
we record initial first before final but in writing we write final before initial so that the mass will be easy for you so normally what do we have 30 minus 7 is uh, 23 but he removed another 0. 0.5 so it's going to be 22.5 that should be here if i'm correct of which i know i am this one they didn't give us what is here to fill in uh, this gap you always minus from the smaller and minus the smaller from the bigger one but not when you are giving this volume of a use so this was the answer gotten you you sum it up here instead so we will call here x for example so remember x plus 2.4 uh, sorry x minus 2.4 give us this so let's do mass x minus 2.4 0 give us 22.60 such that x is now what 22.60 plus 2.40 such that we have 44 four gives us whole number so uh, we have 25 yes it's giving us plus 22 plus 2 is 24 plus 1 25.00 make sure to put it so x is 25 Point zero zero puts point zero zero so that when you minus it you get this twenty two point four if you minus twenty five point zero zero if you minus twenty two point four from it you now get twenty two point six zero okay we are done with filling the table the next we are finished completing the table the next one will be very simple now we have to they say copy and complete this one is done and the next is I, I calculate the average volume of F used are you looking for a trusted supplier of medical equipment science equipment and reagents search no more choose Sir Majesty Z World Science where you buy directly from the scientists who understand the quality and the working principle of every tools and analytical reagents. We don't just sell, we guide you. Do you know that every purchase comes with free practical guide on how to use the reagents or apparatus effectively by a scientist and experienced medical expert? We are majestic, reliable and affordable. We say to you exactly what you ordered. This is not what you ordered, but is what you got because the satisfaction is our watch. Thank you. Wait a minute. Have you heard about the Majestic Table? It was designed and recommended by Sir Majesty himself. Yes, yes. The amazing thing about the Majestic Periodic Table is that it provides a clear and colorful classification of elements from P block metals to metalloids to liquid metals. It also shows the boiling and melting points of all the elements. It also has the unique feeling of electrons in the shells of each element. We need a working sheet here. So permit me to divide the screen. The question secret on how to do this you will also learn that we have two formula compose really that we will that, that let me not say composite but about 80 percent possible you must use this formula c a v a over c b v b equal